We're now going to visit the site of Topol's tiny tsunami, which uh, apparently is the damage caused by the earthquake um, just in the recent days gone past. This is a popular place we used to go swimming, where um, the lake shelves down very quickly at a 45 degree angle into, into fairly deep water. And apparently it is now given, uh, been taken away by the earthquake. There are some cracks in the land where I don't know what's happened, but I can't see any just at the moment. I hear some little cracks where uh, where the earthquake or the tsunami has caused this damage. And what was once metal beach along here has been washed away back into the lake, into the what is a fairly deep part of the lake. So it's basically just the wave has come up, or seems to have come up, and it's pulled all the earth and some of the sand down into what used to be a very deep area of the lake. Nothing special, but that's where it is. This is where we used to go and lie on the beach just out here and dive off into the water. No longer though. This is a pumice line which shows the extent to which the wave washed up onto the shore bringing pumice along with it. So here we see the pumice has been left in a, a contour line. As you can see probably 30 metres away from the lake itself. And here goes the contour, contour line all around here. So basically it's just a splashback from the uh, from the wave which would have come up and taken away part of the shoreline. This is your roving reporter in Topor, Greg Sheehan, reporting the latest on the tsunami.